All right, hey, this is Jay Soames. I just wanted to... I'm the creator dad, Bob, by the way. I have children. Hilarious. Anyway, I just want to take a quick video. This is my little stream setup. And I'm hopefully just going to do jaysoames.com slash dadbot. You should follow me on Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, I wanted to show off the kickoff um, stuff I've been working on. Uh, it's not perfect yet, but it will be. So this is like a phase... Phase one point one, because phase one was a turkey tournament and I and I failed. So this is phase one point one because it's a lot better. I'm going with a point one. Ugh. Anyway, let's uh, switch the code real quick. Um, I plotted the different kickoff positions. So I want to clean this up eventually, but I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna zoom in. So, you know, blue team, you got kickoffs here. These are the kickoff positions for blue team on one map. They might be different for other maps, but hey, I'm just trying to do what I can do. This is the orange position. Similar, flipped, rotated, math. I hate math, but I love Rocket League. I love botting. Anyway, so we got all those positions. And then basically, my I have a play system that I'm working on, right? And so... Uh, when I say, hey, let's do a kickoff play, is it available? Is the ball at zero, zero, zero? Then yeah, it's probably a kickoff, buddy. Go into this code here. Uh, you know, ignore all this shit. Kickoff is null. Do a new kickoff based on your car's position, right? So I go to this car's position. And this basically says, hey, if you're car, which is location, the car's location is within a certain distance, so 15, you know, boom, okay, so basically it's saying, hey, does your car within this area, uh, then you're, go ahead, you're in front, you're in front corner one, buddy, right, so, and then my code up here says, all right, I still need to fill all this in. This is actually from Kip J's, uh, Kip J, Kip J, Kip J's, um, code. I forked his code. Stolen. Hashtag stolen. Um, anyway, I'm taking his, uh, his setup here and I'm in, you know, making my own flavor. But anyway, uh, it basically does a kickoff position there and then it, it will run a particular kickoff. So... Let's do that here. We're going to set the start a project as a kickoff example. In my kickoff example, I'm basically taking all those points that I made and putting them into an actual start position via the game state. Right. So if we're setting the ball at the beginning, we're setting the car state at whatever position that I want to try to kick off at. So, and this is my code here, zero happens to be the center kickoff. Let's go ahead and run that one. We'll run zero. Okay, we'll go ahead and run that. We're going to switch over to running the bot. And we'll kick over to my game here. All right, so ideally, this will load up that bot in the... Starting position. It's gonna take about five seconds to refresh. Is this running dad bot or is this running kickoff example? What did I do? Kickoff zero. I'm going to rerun that. I think I broke it. I did. It wasn't running for some reason. Anyway, so this is the this is the kickoff that I was attempting to do during um, the turkey tournament. Obviously, it w was failing before. It wasn't doing the jump correctly, and it only <laughs> hit the ball if we started in this exact position. Um, else, my car would just drive straight. 
So now let's do another one. We're going to go ahead and punch the code so you guys can see. We're going to go, you know, kick off position one, which is the front corner one. We will rerun that, switch back to the game. As you can see, it is running the other kickoff position. Now what I have left to do is go through each one of these and make sure that I can actually hit the ball appropriately. Booyah. Dead bot. Victorious.